all right so in this video we are going to talk about CapCut cutouts it's a new feature in CapCut what is CapCut cutout a cutout or a photo with the background removed um, that is basically is a common element in graphic design cutouts are easy to work with because they take up less space than full photos certain only the necessary element from the photo and can easily be placed on top of any other graphic uh, so let's begin i have this uh, design here that is one of my video uh, at the top and here downside in the overlay section you can see one of my photos so here there is one way if i go to this one i just just gonna expand this one here i can expand this video to the timeline here is this a small video you can freeze and expand you can go to this section here uh, freeze video sorry 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 freeze and now you can delete this video and can extend this one and yeah look at this part this one you want to extend you can extend up to any element all right so if i play this is frozen i can undo and just uh, keep those previous changes here right so this is a video right and here is a overlay photo uh, in the cup uh, cap cut cutout sections you know sorry for my tongue um, if you go there then simply you can select this picture and go to cutout and simply you can remove the background that is very, very simple but you need a particular part to be shown on your video um, not the entire photo so i can undo this one and go to customized cutout right so this is my picture and i want to show maybe like my hoodie or my face only this will work for that i i've seen like so many tutorials on uh, cap cut cutouts this feature but they are explaining different things you can take different you know pictures from internet cut out pictures and place them in on your video uh, so that the cutout will be included in your video but it it's not the real cutout i'm talking about on this one cap cut so here is a first one is brush tool the other one is wipe tool and in the brush section if i click this brush section and now with my finger i can you know locate the area which part of this picture could be shown so you can increase the size of like brush here i can decrease and increase like this one and i want to show only my face as you can see i can go there 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 and this part and this part and this part and this part only this one right so you can see a tiny button is also there so you can just according to your own requirements so here you can paint your face like that and that's done like here on my chin a little bit and if it goes something like extra you can always wipe it off with the other wipe option and once it's done you just press ok see only my face is here so you can now just go to uh, the animation section here you can do some animations as well and if you go to style section you can also give some styles to this picture and uh, in the meantime you know you can apply some filters as well like if i apply this filter and it will look like that and if i apply this filter it will look like that okay just keep this filter here and in the adjust section you can also adjust the color and saturation and in the mask section you can apply a mask as well uh, like in this one i want to make it like a little bit bigger and maybe this area and this is smaller and this one and yeah only my face in here if i just go okay the mask would be applied and uh, in the adjustment section you can do some uh, saturation and sharpness there was another feature here animation and in the splice section you can increase and decrease the intensity for example this is darken and i increase this one it would be darken like this one and normally like 
normal okay and you can also see like behind there there is a building uh, it can be shown in my face so lighten is this one and you can play around to check this one if you like this one and i just leave it normal and maybe intensity like this one is okay now i can make it bigger or smaller and i can just like leave it here here right so if i go back and play this video right so this is like short one about the cutouts if you want to <clears throat> show a particular area uh, above your video so you can do it this is the cutout i know and you can also get some cutout photos and you can uh, make the transparent photos in uh, pixel cut or in remove bg.com online and in the adobe photoshop as well then import those uh, transparent pngs here and you can for example just want to give a passport here you can place the passport here a cup of tea here you can place that one all the time but for the cap cut cutouts you can simply cut out a particular area and place it above your video project so now it's done and you can select here is 30 frame per second and you can choose the hd size and export that's how it works and i hope you got the idea if you like this video thumbs up and subscribe i'll see you in another video take care and bye bye